light helps us see the world around us and also lets us peer into the secrets of the universe. It's fundamental for our experience of reality. But the fact that it has a speed limit, a constant unchanging one, introduces us to quite a few problems. On a human scale, light is imperceptibly fast. After all, it's the quickest thing out there. That doesn't hold true on a cosmic scale unless you're really patient and can avoid death. Traveling at the speed of light, it would take us almost 100,000 years to reach the center of a galaxy. Forget distances beyond that. Since it's so slow, we can only reach boundaries within that speed limit, not outside it because while formulating his theory of special relativity, Einstein realized that mass and energy share an equivalence. E is equal to mc square. That means anything that has mass has a lot of corresponding energy. If an object increases its energy by moving faster, it will also gain more mass. Adding more mass, however, makes the object harder to move, and to make it move faster, after that, it needs more energy. This cycle will repeat, and each turn will increase the amount of energy one would have to spend to make the object move. This is why the speed of light is unreachable. The speed of light is limited, literally and figuratively. An experiment conducted by physicists Albert A. Michelson and Edward Molly confirmed that the speed of light was constant for all observers. With that information in mind, imagine you are sitting on a bench in a street and you watch a car pass by. In the car, a man is tossing an apple up and down. For him, it's barely moving a few centimeters, but for you, the apple is moving with the car, thus is moving many more meters. Well, who's correct? It depends on your frame of reference, so none of you aren't. Let's repeat the scenario, except there's a mirror attached to the roof of the car and the same person shines a torchlight at it while driving by you. For him, light travels a shorter distance, but for you, a considerably longer one. Since the speed of light is always constant, the only way for you to agree with the situation is if the time you perceive is different. This is an earth-shattering notion. It means that absolute time doesn't exist. Your perception of time will run faster than his while he is in motion. These effects are negligible in day-to-day -day life, but with much greater speeds, relativity plays a massive role. If all this happened on a spaceship while moving near light speed, and you were on it, a few years of traveling in space for you would be billions of years past on Earth. And that's why the speed of light kind of ruins high-speed interstellar travel.